45S. First thing we're going to do, we're going to set the pump on its side. We're going to take our 5 millimeter hex wrench. We're going to undo the two bolts that hold the pump to the pull piece. You're going to want to be careful because the heater strip is magnetic. And as you undo that last bolt, it's going to want to push the pump up, as you see. Then you're going to want to take your 764 hex wrench. And we're going to undo the two bolts for the strain relief, which holds your heater wire and the sheathing in place. And that'll allow us to pull the sheathing back. Go ahead. Set your pump back up, feed your wire through the slot, and you're going to feel some resistance here. Go ahead and tug, and the pump will become free. So now, I'm going to show you how to put this back together. You're going to want to lower your pump in as you're pulling the wires through. You are going to feel the magnetic pull as the heater gets closer to the magnets. Go ahead, keep it nice and straight. And as you're pulling your wires through, go ahead and just push that pump down so it bottoms out. Now you may want help at this point, or you could try and do it yourself, but you're gonna wanna hold that pump steady. As, as, as I said before, you'll be fighting the magnet, the magnets. Okay, let me start over on that. This is where three hands comes comes handy. But if you go, go ahead and squeeze that in there, you can do this one-handed. Now the second bolt. Go ahead and tighten those up. We're going to set our pump back up on the, on the bottom. We're going to pull our heating heater sheeting and this is where it's important that you make sure you get that slid underneath and into the strain relief and that's as far as you need to push it in you don't want to go too far beyond that just get it into the heating street or the uh, strain relief and then go ahead and tighten that down with your 764 hex allen wrench. There you have it.